The Fortnite Marvel crossover comic Zero Wars is out now and actually a good read on both the Fortnite and Marvel side of things. It starts off with Wolverine in a bar and then Spidey shows up. Instantly, Wolverine dismisses Spidey, not trying to hear about whatever is going on that Spidey may want to get him into. Then, Jonesy shows up next to them and orders a pufferfish daiquiri, only to find out he's in the wrong universe for that drink. They're soon joined by the Imagine who gets Wolverine to hear them out. Spider-Man tells Wolverine something really interesting. You might have heard about a chunk of Manhattan, including the Daily Bugle and me incidentally disappearing and ending up on some Fakakta Island. <laughs> this is crazy to me because it implies that Spider-Man and the Daily Bugle ending up in Fortnite is actually canon to the main 616 comic line. They confirm it's 616 later in this book, stay tuned. Then, there's a bit of a flashback where Spidey is telling the story of what happens on the island. He explains that people from different realities get pulled in and stuck in an endless repeating fight thanks to the Zero Point. During this, he also actually describes the Foundation by saying, Imagine if Tony Stark was Nick Fury, but built like the Hulk. Which is, I suppose, a nod to how strong Dwayne Johnson is in real life. He explains that if something happens to you in the loop, you just come back for the next fight. But outside of the loop, things are more permanent. They bring up that the IO is working on a weapon of mass destruction and that they need more power on their side. They actually recap the Chapter 1 Mech vs. Monster event and talk about how the mech would be great for them to use against the IO, but that it's on the moon and that the Fortnite Island's moon is apparently an icy and hostile weather climate so they can't really do anything there. Spider-Man brings up that Thor and Storm can manipulate weather and that if he could only get back to his reality he can try and recruit them and others to help. The only problem is the Seven's portal gun only has two charges left so in order for Spidey to have enough trips back and forth to end his journey in his own reality, one of those trips need to be made using the Zero Point. But before they let Spidey go, the Origin recalls when Galactus came to the Zero Point and said that he actually dislodged a small part of the Zero Point and took it with him when he went back to his own universe. Origin says that if Spidey could get that fragment back, it could help them power the mech to fight the IO. Jonesy tries to sneak Spidey and team to the Zero Point by taking them to the flipped side of the island where his old office is located. Because everything is flipped, his old office is upside down and the doors are on the ceiling. They find the Zero Point and as Jonesy goes to program it to take them to Spider-Man's universe, they get attacked by Sloan and Gunner who rigged Jonesy's office with an alarm in case he ever came back. Until the Zero Point is reprogrammed properly, jumping into it directly will apparently rip your atoms to shreds and send them to different universes. During this fight, the Imagine tells Jones to do his job, at which point he says he did his job for centuries and his boss didn't even know his name. I only mention this because in response, Spidey actually says, that's better, and that his boss yells at him for wanting pictures on his desk by noon. Obviously a nod to J. Jonah Jameson. The fight picks up and Spidey tells Jones and the Imagine that they've gotta go, and since Jones doesn't have enough time to ensure the Zero Point doesn't let the IO follow them, Spidey webs the button to clear the programming to the 616 universe. Now, these are my favorite few panels of this comic because A, this confirms that this is actually 616 Spidey in Fortnite, and all of this is canon to his own universe. And B, this panel right here actually recreates an iconic Spider-Man cover from the very first appearance of Spider-Man, which has been recreated time and time again, but this time with Jonesy. Now unfortunately, the Foundation, who's left behind, gets his butt kicked, and thankfully Gunner and Sloan decide it doesn't matter if he's still alive, because the Seven won't have enough time to finish their plan to stop the I.O. <laughs> Spidey and Jones wake up in 616 and already see the Imagine fighting Captain Marvel who says she thought Spidey was knocked unconscious by her. Spidey is offended she'd assume he'd lose that fight and then asks her to ring up the Avengers for a big meeting. They all meet at Avengers Mountain which is really just the frozen body of a fallen celestial and he tries to convince everyone to come to the Fortnite Island. Now once they've convinced the Avengers to return to the island to help the Seven, Spider-Man, Jonesy, and the Imagine stay behind to go find Galactus. This is where we return to the fact that this was all a recap to Wolverine on why he should join. Jonesy says Spidey told it all wrong and goes to convince Wolverine himself, only for the Imagine to tell him it'll be the best fight you've ever had, to which Wolverine says, I'm in. Now the last pages of the comic reveal that they're being watched, and stated to be behaving just as expected. This is mentioned to Gino, a returning ominous figure in the Fortnite lore, and this is of course stated by none other than Doctor Doom, who we can see here doing the emo from in-game. Unfortunately, issue 2 doesn't come out until July 13th, but as soon as it does, I'll grab the next one and fill you all in. Like and follow to find out what happens next.